What's going on folks? Devin Banks here back in the bass basement with another one. This one today is all about fish in the post spawn covering the bank to get bit. I got two baits for you. Let's get right into it. Folks, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching today's episode about baits to use during the post spawn to get bit. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you already have subscribed, thank you and share the channel with a friend. So post spawn fishing. This is like that junk uh, fishing period, but this is also a period to throw like those big baits that have drawn power to get some attention. So when I say post spawn, I'm thinking about uh, fish that are either fry garden uh, or they are cruising the shallows resting up from the spawn before they go into their areas uh, for the summer. So one of the first baits that I like to go to is Berkeley's Cold Shad. And this right here is a big swim bait. But this is a bait that you can cover a lot of water with. And it has that clip system where when a fish does strike, you're not fighting the bait, you're not fighting the hook, and you're going to get that fish uh, to the boat as you hear that click right there. But this is a 6-inch cold shad. This is the albino color. It's a visual bite. You can throw this bait along the areas where fish uh, have been spawning or did spawn and see if you can catch those fry garters or... Uh, this is a bait that you can skip real well around those docks, around those dock floats, around those posts, around that hard cover. This is a great bait to throw around wood, uh, which you wouldn't think so with the exposed hook, but this is a great bait to throw around wood where those fish are resting up from the spawn. So as you're going down the bank, this is a bait that you can cover a lot of water with and catch them. Uh, I throw this bait on 17 pound, 100% Berkeley fluorocarbon. A seven foot medium heavy Veritas tournament edition PLX rod, and I go with a Revo STX uh, 671 for the reel. Um, I am an individual that when I cast the bait, I tend to burn the bait back a lot, so I go down to that 671 to slow me up uh, on the retrieve. So, once again, this is the Berkeley Cold Shad, and that's my setup. When I'm cruising the bank in the post spawn looking for those fry garters or those bass resting up from the spawn. The second bait that I'm going to use in the post spawn in those same areas as I'm cruising down the bank looking for areas where fish may have been uh, fry guarding or they're resting up from the spawn as they're cruising is a glide bait. This right here is Berkeley's Ness E7. This is the new glide bait, soft glide bait, so when a fish strikes it, it's very compact. Uh, resembles um, those uh, big glide baits, but this is a soft version and it's easily worked. You don't have to be a big glide baiter uh, to understand or uh, work this bait. So has the same clip as you would have with the cold shad. And what I'm going to do with this bait I'm going to throw this bait in the same areas that I'm going to use the cold shad at. Around those points, around those uh, areas of docks and dock floats. And just easily working this bait with those hypnotizing S's to get strikes. So this right here is the Berkeley Nessie 7 glide bait. My one-two punch is the cold shad, and then I go with the glide bait. So what's my setup with the glide bait? I go with 15-pound, 100% Berkeley fluorocarbon. This is not a heavy uh, bait, so this bait casts well with the 15-pound, and the 15-pound is strong enough to when a fish strikes it, I'll be able to get them hooked up and get them in the boat. Seven-foot, medium-heavy Veritas uh, casting rod, and then I like to go with a six-gear uh, ratio Bay caster 671 661 uh, this one has a Revo STX and that's my setup when it comes to throwing the Berkeley Nessie I like the seven foot rods with both of these lures because I can make roll casts I can put these baits in some tight quarters with that seven foot rod seven three uh, seven two just a little bit uh, too long for me but that seven foot rod is perfect for the cold shad 
and the Nessie where I can put these baits in those tight quarters with roll casts or even flip those uh, uh, baits in areas and work them back to get strikes. So there you have it folks, two baits to get bit uh, during the post spawn when fish are either fry guarding or they're roaming shallow resting up before they go out into their summer areas. So what baits do you use in a post spawn? I would love to know. Drop them in the comments below. Let's have an interaction. Uh, and then don't forget, hit that subscribe button. It helps the channel grow. Share with a friend and I'll see you on the next one.